George Dreyfus, composer. I was artist in residence at the ANU 1967 to 68. There was no music department at the ANU. There was the Creative Arts Fellowship, mm. but there was no music department. Okay. The, the conservatorium was in Manuka. I had no contact with the conservatorium at all. I had, uh, there was a, uh, one thing of interest was I was not the ANU's first choice. The first choice was the composer Richard Meal to be the third fellow. Richard at first said he was going to come and then he changed his mind whereupon I got a phone call from the registrar saying come be composer in residence and I said yes. There was no, that was the only contact I had. I was under no obligation to do anything at all. In fact, uh, I may have surprised the ANU establishment what could be done with the fellowship. In those days, it was understood that uh, the fellowship would help artists, composers, painters, writers, mm -hmm to de uh, d devote their full time to their art. Now, I'd already been doing this for two years, but that was irrelevant. There were a number of works that I composed while I was here on the fellowship. I was given the house in 18 Liversidge Street and I sat at the window on, with a table writing music with my rapidograph. And the registrar, who was a sort of like vice-chancellor, Ross Honan, used to drive past. And then he'd say, if when next time he saw me, I didn't see you at your table writing music. I think he was very pleased that I was sitting there whenever, most of the time he drove past, not at 7 o'clock in the morning, but uh, at 9, 10 o'clock in the morning, I'd be sitting there, pen in hand, writing music, and that pleased him and them very much. I just sat at my desk and then went to sleep. Next I got up and wrote more music. I sat at my table and wrote a number of works, which were the first symphony, lasting a good half hour, then Song of the Maypole, a cantata for children's choir and orchestra, children's orchestra. And that was done here in Canberra. And uh, that was really fulfilled the ideals, the then ideals of the fellowship, that I would involve, mis that the creative artist would involve him or herself with the Canberra community. Uh, so the Canberra Youth Choir sang this cantata and the Canberra Youth Orchestra played this cantata. And then there was the completely unexpected lunchtime orchestra that I founded. We didn't have a conductor, we just played. And I probably conducted from the bassoon. This is, you have to be a bit careful, this is a long time ago. But there was no conductor was one of my ideals. And I think that also involving the staff Hmm. The phys physicists, the English department, who knows who played. But enough people turned up so we could play this Boccherini symphony, which after all was a string orchestra and a bit of woodwind. I was very lucky towards my end of my days as a bassoon player in the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra, orchestra where after I'd been for 12 years, I've been there. And... Uh, um, that the film industry opened up for me. The then film industry, which is not the same as the film industry now, but one thing that was going were documentaries. There were a great number of documentaries being made. They were shown in the theatres, film theatres. There used to be B-class films in, in the 30s, 40s. Slowly that was taken over by documentaries and slowly it stopped altogether. And now you go to the movies, you get one movie. 
uh, and I did a huge amount of that work. And then Good Fortune uh, was the ABC in Melbourne. Te ABC Television was very active, and Oscar Whitbread f found himself in serious trouble with uh, his project called Marion, a te little television series, and rang me up and says, you don't know me, but I know of you, come and help me out. And I did, and he was so thrilled with the music that I wrote that he said, you can do a rush, which nobody knew anything about except he, this television series they're going to make, and I did that, and that was a lucky break for me. There's been no question about that. Hmm. That was after my ANU residency. 